been a while since I doing a loft update. These are the boys right here. Um, uh, let's start off over here. This guy is new to the loft, so you guys haven't seen him in the videos yet. But um, that's the new bird to the loft. He doesn't have a, a hen yet because uh, you know he's new. This is 603. Um, 603 right there and uh, that's 603 right there he's doing good this is a 700 bird um, there he is right there 681 He's kind of hanging out in this little area on the outside. Yep. Uh, she's uh, the hand that I put with 671. So that's his girl right there. And she's got 700 bloodline with Hofkin bloodline. So she's half Hofkin, half 700. Uh, is my 700 hen. She's the daughter of 700. And uh, I got her with 603. So there she is. And that's what I'm using right now. I don't have so many birds, so this is a pretty easy system to change the water out and everything. But that's my 700 bird right there. The hen. Here's uh On the right is the Weyer Loft hen. That's the Weyer Loft hen on the right, and uh, behind her is uh, the hen I got from Grande. So that's the hens right there. So that's the Weyer Loft hen, and behind her is the seven um, Grande hen in the back, and in the front the Weyer Loft hen. The way you're left, hen. We got the hens on the outside, and uh, we got the boys in here. Uh, no overcrowding, a lot of space. A lot of space. Uh, down there, that's the 700 hen. And here's 671. Oh. 603 is in charge right now. So, uh, he's trying to keep control of everything. And that's his girl right there, so he's trying to show off for her. 700 hen. That's his girl, so he's trying to, trying to be the bad boy. Haha. <laughs> Those two are a couple right there. Looking good. A lot of corn and a lot of peas, so that explains a lot of the yellow droppings. Um, that's that couple right there. Love these Hopkins, they're so nice.
fighting a little bit. Yeah, these two are a couple as well. 671 and uh, 677, that's his girl on the other side. So they're trying to look at each other as well. He's pretty friendly, I don't know if he wants to. He don't care, today. Hank's trying to check out his girl. There's the Weyer Loft 10. She's a double inbred defense and she's done real good. As far as breeding from our brother, she, she did real good for them. And uh, all these birds came from their loft with the exception of the Grande birds. So I got two birds from Grande Loft and then the rest are from my brother's loft. So that's pretty much it. They spend most of the day trying to show off for the girls. Look at that, it's a 700 right there. That's uh, the right son of 700. And I put him with the Weyer Loft 10. That's the uh, 700 right there. 700. Yeah, that's uh, the Weyer Loft 10 on the other side. You came to see her. Yep. Another thing they'll do is they'll sit right here next to the door and stick their heads to the door so they can see each other. That's the Grande Loft Hen right there. She's real nice. She's a little bit smaller than the rest of my birds and I like that. She's small. And uh, all the guy, all the birds on this side like her. She kind of flirts with all of them. She's pretty. So those are my three families right now that I got in the loft. Uh, we got the Grande, the Grande Loft family. We got the Hopkins, and we got the 700. So those are the three families that I got in the loft of birds. Um, I don't want to get more complicated than that. Nine birds right now is what I got. The only one that doesn't have a partner is uh, the Splash in the middle, the Hofkin, and uh, we'll find something for him. But that's what I want my uh, loft to be, to consist of, these three families. So that's a setup right there. Um, I think the only one of these that's not loyal to their partners, um, the Grande Cockbird has been trying to get with the 700 hen, and the little girl right there, she see her in the middle, the Grande hen has been trying to get with just about everybody, but uh, she likes this guy right here, the 700. And 603, uh, he's in charge right now. Sometimes 671's in charge. Right now, he's in charge. But, uh... Seems like there's always a dominant bird. Right now, he's the dominant bird. Uh, I got rid of the... Oh, I forgot to tell you guys. I got rid of this. That's a 700 coming to see him. I got rid of the... Of the Hooven that I had. The, the Cuban was too aggressive. Uh, there's still blood all over the loft from him, so I gave him back to my brothers, where um, apparently he's not aggressive over there. But, uh, I guess that happens sometimes. He was aggressive here, but he's not aggressive over there. Same thing happens with this bird. This brother, this bird in my brother's loft was the most aggressive bird in the loft, and when I brought him over here, um, he kind of went to the bottom of the, he went to the bottom of the, of the pole in my loft, but when he was up in my brother's loft, he was the baddest bird over there, so, I brought him over here, I think he would be in charge, and so far he's just been real quiet, but he
but he's starting to get used to the lofts. So that's it, guys. Like I promised you guys, uh, I would be crossing uh, my Hopkins with my 700s, and here they are. Um, we'll see how it goes. 2012. So that's the 700 hen right there. In 2012, uh, she produced one bird that got 41st place in JC Classic. She's a 700, and uh, the father of that bird was um, Michael Line uh, to Hofkin. I'm pretty sure it's a Hofkin from. Uh, but that Michael Line from uh, Mike Anis was the father and she was the mother and that bird got 41st place in 2012 so we'll see what 2014 brings with her I got her hooked up with him so starting to rain let me get inside the house and that's the loft update guys hey Max so Max ow ow dude Oh.